China and so we met up with them and are going to their hotel to hang out. Um, they have a one-year-old, he's adorable and... Cutest kid of all time. Sorry, people with kids. <laughs> Silas, number one, cute baby. He's adorable. We're following them to their hotel and we're gonna hang out by the pool, maybe look for some whales. It's not super nice today. It's kind of cloudy. It was rainy at our house, but it's a little bit drier here, so. Yay for friends. of residence. We don't know what we're doing. Should I park there? Okay. So basically like the little, I don't know what you call it. You know, you put your ticket in and then it like pops up the little arm and it's for one car at a time. Brian went up and then we just like fucking jammed in after him. And uh, now we're trying to find a spot. Hopefully we don't get Toad. There's no real numbers? No. Okay. Yep. Also, one thing we've learned while well, being in Hawaii is that almost all of the numbers that are written on the ground at any resort or apartment or hotel are really just to deter people who don't know that the numbers don't really mean anything and they're just there to scare you so you can totally park in a lot of places that are numbered and no one's ever going to care because it's super unorganized here. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> close up? Ready for my close up? <laughs> Did you guys get through the gate thing? Did no. he just gun it? Did, what? Yeah. Well, he but just, like he hesitated. Yeah, he for sure it hesitated. Did. Do you think we're going to have to pay like a million dollars for this? For what? For parking in here? No. That's no, why no. you have to park. Oh. Yeah. And okay. the exit is. Oh, free. Like, okay. Yeah. Banging. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, pal. Let me get our... Hey, buddy. You can roam free now. Wow, this is a fucking ugly view, Brian. This, I mean... God. It's pretty safe. It's disgusting. Wow. Okay, Brian, have you ever had a passion fruit? Let's do it. I don't yeah. think so. Okay. You definitely... It was in our fruit salad, babe. This one. Okay. We need a knife. Spoon. We need a spoon. That's what we need. Spoon right here. It's fine. She's got it. I like to just rip it in half. Oh, plot. Oh, shit. You spilled it off. I just spilled it. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Okay. Done. Okay. Yeah, I have them up in the shower. Hey, Brian. Chloe, you've had this before, you said? Oh, that's how you eat it? Mm -hmm. That's what you eat. Eating okay. grains. Yeah, let me get a taste. It's bomb. Oh. It looks like fish eggs. It looks like corn. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Right? Mm hmm Look at it. Okay. Okay. I don't have the waterproof case on, but that's okay. I think it's waterproof anyways. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. Reaction time is not... Silas, say hello. <laughs> Silas, say, let me see that dumper. <laughs> Let me see that dumper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex. Yeah, right. Move it in. They didn't tell you? I thought you told me. I was like, where are we? He's trying to take my camera. It's not going to work. Yeah. We're well, just going to call you a win. About to go into the ocean. Silas and I are going to watch. The power of that. <laughs> oh, I know. Peer pressure. Yeah. Laura motivates us to do so many things via peer pressure. <laughs> Beautiful sunny day here in Maui. Not a cloud in the sky. The wind is actually warming everything up right now. Mama, they're 
you're jumping in. Who is that? Who is that? That's mama. And it's way too cold. So we're going in. Silas. It's been just us on the island for a while and having Chloe and Brian visit has been absolutely wonderful. The old saying that you don't know what you've got till it's gone is so true and anyone who has moved could probably attest to that. You mad about it? No, I'm not mad about it. Traveling every winter is a practice in being uncomfortable. Living in new places, having to figure out new restaurants and meeting new people. It's all a good practice for us, but at the same time, having familiar friends come to town is like getting a huge hug from the universe. These two and their little man are some of our favorite people, and they make it so that we have something to look forward to when we head back to Tacoma. So we just pulled over on the side of the road and right back here is a humpback and a baby. I just got some footage of it. It's fucking awesome. We were just going to meet Brian and Lahaina and saw a whale and a boat and I fucking was like, shit. And we pulled over and it's still right there. It's insane. Crazy. This mama whale and her baby have been hanging out here for a few weeks now, and no one's really sure why she's been floating her tail out of the water like that. Apparently researchers have gone out to check on her and everything seems fine, but she's one of the only humpbacks to exhibit this interesting and strange behavior. The largest <laughs> banding tree in the whole world. And these aren't actually other trees. trees. These are just the roots dropping down. Hold up. It's true, this is all one tree. Welcome to Alex's Tour Guide 101. <laughs> Alex's Tour Guide 101. I don't know if it's in the world, oh, but yeah. I highly recommend this place if you're scared of birds. No birds at all here. Bird free zone. Sometimes you have to go to the, the heart of the tourist belly and look at the banding tree. Just, just shake off any rebelliousness from yourself. <laughs> Alright, we're in Lahaina. Watching whales all day. We're at the marina, I think. Chloe and Brian were only here for a short time and staying with their family in Lahaina. So even though we only got to hang out with them for a couple of days, it was still so lovely to see them in Silas. Thanks for being awesome and letting us point the camera at you. We love and miss you guys already. Safe travels back home. Okay, we're going to pick up my parents. We're not picking them up. We're meeting my parents in town. They just got in. Um, they checked bags and are picking up a rental car. So we're gonna go get dinner with them. And then, yeah, that's it. So we're going to take you guys down our new driveway. It's pretty wild. So
retired this year. Her mother was a school teacher for almost 40 years, 39 I think. And when we got back from our last trip to Spain, since her mom retired, her dad also retired, and they said that wherever we go, they would meet us. And so that's why they're coming here. So we're going to go eat with them in a place called Fork and Salad, which is super healthy food for all you paleo, keto, primal diet people. If you like meat, veggies, and salad, or even if you're a vegan or vegetarian, it's a really good place. They have literally anything you could ever want on a salad, and most of it's locally raised and grown, and uh, we're big fans. How excited are you to see your parents? I'm so excited to see my parents! Do you miss them already? Of course. I love my parents. So excited that they're here. The new one's so little, I'm just like, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's hot out here. So much nicer out here. We just got dinner with my parents. They flew in a couple hours ago and we went to Fork and Salad. And it was lovely to see them. They're staying down in Kihei, so we'll be going down there. My parents were only here for five days, and unfortunately, we didn't have the best weather. Mostly, we just ate good food and swapped some good stories. It rained jungle style, and they got to experience the true winter weather of Maui. The one nice day that we had, we walked around Kihei and checked out their condo on South Kihei Road. Some people travel to get away, but that's not really the case with us. It's actually pretty hard to be away from friends and family for extended periods of time. What I've learned is that it's easy to take people for granted when you live close to them. We even tell ourselves things like, oh, I'll hang out with them next week, or the week after that, and so on. The thing about being in a place for a limited amount of time is that it forces you to live in the present. Don't wait to spend time with those that are important to you. Do it now, like right now. What I'm trying to say is that it was really nice to spend time catching up and talking story with them. My dad regaled us with stories of the good old days when they used to race sailboats, and my mom shared adventures of their more recent trips with their ski buddies. Love you, mom and dad. Miss you already. Hey, say goodbye. Bye. We'll see you guys in a few months. Okay. Bye. Love you. Thank you. Space time. How are you feeling right now? Um, I'm feeling good. I'm sad that they're leaving, but I'm also... I appreciate them and I love them and I think they know that. And so life is good, as my mom would say. <laughs> so that's the end of the episode thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far you should definitely subscribe to the channel it's free yo just click the link in the upper right corner and hit subscribe if you do enjoy watching our videos please consider becoming a supporter on patreon you can visit patreon.com slash the detour sky and donate monthly at any level from one dollar to a hundred every little bit helps if you're already supporting the show, thank you so much for helping us continue to travel and make these videos. Bye.